This here is a print-on-demand product that easily makes over $50 in profit. This is actually one of my designs. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create stuff like this, as well as how to fulfill a personalized order for one of your customers. Back on April 17th, I opened a second store in addition to my main store, and at this point, we are almost at $15,000 in sales. Like I said, the store opened on April 17th. During the month of April in its entirety, I passed over $1,200 in sales for the month of May only when I started launching some Facebook ads I was able to break through to over $8,000 in sales and so far this month here in June the trend has kind of continued we are now at over $5,000 in sales for the month of June and here are a total of five product samples of this item this is a print-on-demand product that is available from three different suppliers which I will show you in a moment all three of these are from the T launch app inside of their app it does come in several different sizes the these here are the 12 inch size. This copper one and this red one here are the 18 inch. And then this big one here is a 36 inch version that they sent me. This here is inside of the T-Launch site. They do list a total of six different size options. I only showed you a couple of them. Same thing with colors. It does come in five different options. It does ship from the United States. You can see here that they list Louisiana as the location that it ships from. And down here they have their design template, which we will use in a moment to actually begin creating designs. A second supplier is called My Easy Monogram. They offer print-on-demand signs as well, and they ship them from the United States. This is a supplier that I have not used before. Same thing with this option here. This is a supplier called Pillow Profits. They offer these metal signs. It does look like there is some color options here with the designs, but I have not used them before, but I wanted to show it in today's video. And also, before we jump into the tutorial, if you do need help creating a Shopify store or installing any of these suppliers to your actual Shopify store, I do have a a free course. It is called POD for Dummies. Inside is over 30 step-by-step -step videos showing you how to get started. Like I said, it is completely free and there is a link down in the description. I'm making this video because a lot of people have questions about how these designs are actually made. In order to show you, I first want to grab the template and then kind of open it and talk through what we're actually doing to end up creating something like you are seeing on the screen. Inside either the T-Launch Shopify app or here on this page right here that I'm showing you, you can download the template. You can see it's listed as a 3600 by 3600 image. Here inside of Photoshop, I have now created a 3600 by 3600 image. You can see right now that I have a transparent background, meaning everything that I create on this design is going to be printed in the shape that I want it. If I turn on these two layers here, I can kind of demo what I mean. If I was to create a design just like this here, what T-Launch would create for me is a square metal sign. However, I do have text on there, but the text would not show up. That is because because the text is not cut out of the background. What I would actually need to do is cut that text from the background so now I can see through it here in order to get it to show up. Because like I said, T-Launch is going to be creating this sign from one sheet of metal. And if you want any text or other elements to show up, you're going to want to make sure that you cut it out of your actual design template so that way it shows through. You're also going to want to make sure that you are using a stencil font. You can see this font here, letters like O and R are still connected with where there is a little hole in the letter. You can also see it here on the letter B. You can see the difference here with this regular font. The letter O, the letter B, and the letter R both have these black sections inside of them that are not connected to the main piece. If I was to use a font like this, then this design would not come out the way that I want it. You can see here, when I cut it from the background, the parts inside of the letter R, inside of the letter B, and inside of the letter O are not showing. The place that I get a lot of my stencil fonts from is called Creative fabrica.com. They have a lot of different styles on here depending on the vibe you are going for. You can scroll through and you can see all of the ones that they have to offer. We're also going to revisit Creative Fabrica in a little bit in this design tutorial to talk about how to get great graphics to use in your sign design. Recently I partnered with Creative Fabrica to put together an awesome offer. If you wanted to be able to download unlimited things from their website, you could. With the link in the pinned comment of this post, you can get started for just $1. After the first month that is billed at $1, you will pay just $19 per month, which is a 35% discount on the regular price. Like I said, there will be a link down in the description to that offer. This here is one of my metal print on demand signs. And in today's tutorial, we're gonna be creating something just like this. You can see on this that all of the design elements, including the numbers here, as well as the details in the anchor are cut from the sign. Now I am doing this in Photoshop. You could technically do this in any graphic design software that you want. The first thing that we are gonna do is draw a little 
rectangle here that is going to form basically that main bar of our actual sign. We also want to make sure that anybody buying this sign will be able to actually hang the sign. So I am going to create a 50 by 50 circle that I'm going to cut out from the main sign. So that way you can actually hang it on the wall. If I zoom in here, you can see that I've now created this little circle that I'm going to place somewhat in the center over on the left side. I'm then going to duplicate the actual hole and I'm going to move it all the way over to our right side. So that way we have a hole on both the left and the right. You can see here, now if I click off these layers that I have two holes on the actual bar. What we're then gonna wanna do is actually cut those holes out of that bar because if we don't do that, then it's not actually going to print with T-Launch. Like I said before, every design element needs to be cut from the actual sign. Depending on what software you're using, this would be done in a little bit of a different way. Here inside of Photoshop, I am basically just selecting each one of the circles and I'm then removing that shape from the actual background. You can see here I now have a circle with a transparency showing through it. And if I was to print this, I would get a long metal bar from T-Launch with two holes on each side. The second part of this tutorial is actually finding some graphics to use in the design. Again, we're gonna go ahead and search for some different things here on Creative Fabrica. For this specific design, I'm thinking we do it with like a mountain theme where someone could hang the address sign on a mountain cabin or something like that. What I'm going to type in is mountain bear vector and we will see what comes up. What you can do is you can type in various things relevant to your niche and look for some different vectors like this to use inside of your design. This bear here is one of the ones that I just found and I'm going to use it here inside of our design. Obviously, we're going to want to position it so that way it is touching our main bar that we've created inside of the sign. The reason is, is because if we left it way up here, we would have essentially two pieces within our design and T-Launch would end up denying our file. So what I am going to do is slightly lower this little bear onto our bar to make sure that it is touching. We also want to make sure that we are creating a strong sign. You can see if I zoom in here that we are just barely connected with this foot right here. A lot of times what I will actually do is push it down a little bit further to make sure that the actual bear or whatever element I'm using is connected to the sign in a really strong way. That way when someone gets the sign it's not too flimsy. Now because this is an address sign we're going to want to put in just any old house number on this. That way when we generate mockups the customer can see what the final product will look like. So for this I am going to just type in 1137 as a house number. I am going to change the color to black so that way we can actually see it. One thing to know is when you are creating these designs it does not matter what color your actual design is in because T-Launch is going to print it all in one color. You can see here that my 1137 text has shown up in the stencil font that we were using before. This text is not actually going to be cut from our actual sign so we don't have to use a stencil font for this. The only reason we would need to use a stencil font is if our text was actually being cut from the sign like some of the other examples I've shown you so far in this video. So that means for this tutorial I am going to select our text. I am then going to change the font. One of the fonts that I like to use is Times New Roman for these address signs. They have a really nice formal look to them. We're also going to bring these numbers a little bit closer together. Again, depending on what software you are using to make your design, some of this might be a little bit different. We're then going to move this text right up on top here. And again, we want to make sure that it is connected to our main bar. I'm going to start by making it a little bit larger. Sometimes I like to make the text in the number the same size as the element that is showing to the left, in this case, the bear. Once you get it positioned, you can sort of fine tune it to get the heights correct. I am just going to continue to move it down slightly so that way those ones are connected as well. We now have a sign that has a house number on it as well as a bear. The next step is to add the street name down below. For this, I'm just going to type in main ST, main street, again, as an example here so that way the customer can see what the final product looks like. We're gonna go ahead and make this text a little bit larger. Technically, it should be just the same width so that way everything is balanced and looking good. If I get it to about right here, I think that looks pretty sharp. Same thing as before, we're then going to want to drag it up so that way it is completely connected to our main item. And that way when T-Launch prints this, it will be a piece of metal, everything connected that looks exactly like this. Now that we have our design file, the next step is to actually save it. Now we have to upload this as a PNG file. That way everything around what we've created will actually show up in our design. If we don't do it as a PNG, then we won't have any transparency in the actual design. Inside of the T-Launch Shopify app, you can scroll to 
to the wall art category and then select the die cut metal signs. From here, you'll just click on start design. And on this screen, we can actually upload our actual image. I'm going to select it now and I'll show you the preview. Once you upload your design, it shows you a preview like this. And if you had anything that was not connected to the actual piece of sign, it would show up here in this tester window as a red element and you would know that you have an issue with your design. Since I don't see any red on this, I can assume that we are good to go and go ahead and click on the accept button. From this screen as well, you can then go through and choose if you want to add or remove certain colors or even sizes from your actual listing that you're publishing to your Shopify store. If everything looks good to go, you can just click the next button. On this screen here, you can give your product a title. You could also edit the description. You can also change pricing and you can select different mockups to actually push to your store. T-Launch has over 10 different mockups. They do limit you, however, to only publishing 10 to your store. So if you wanted to use some of these other ones here, you'd have to select them. Once you click on the create button, it would publish the item to your store. And before I show you how to actually fulfill your personalized orders and edit your design files for your customer, I want to talk a little bit about niches and profitability for this product. This is again, one of my print on demand designs. This one is for the horse niche. I've shown you earlier a chicken coop sign as well as a coastal theme sign. And the fact is, is that this product is extremely versatile. You could sell this to almost any niche. The key though, I think is personalizing the item. That way you can actually give some utility to the product. They can hang it somewhere with their personalization on it. And ultimately you'll be able to charge even more for the item, which will mean more profit for you. Here inside of T-Launch, you can see the pricing for this product. You can see that the 12 inch starts at just $17.25. The 36 inch version, which I showed you earlier, starts at $105. That is a variant that I have sold for $199 before. However, for the small 12 inch version, I have sold that successfully between $59 and $79. Ultimately, no matter which variant you are choosing, you can be very profitable with this item. The first step to actually selling something like this is having something on your actual product page like this that will allow someone to type in what they want to actually personalize the item with. This is actually my print on demand store and I am using an app called Globo Product Options. It is an app that is available on Shopify. It is free to install and you can add a lot of different things like these to your actual product pages to process personalized orders on your store. This here is an order that I got over the weekend from a Facebook ad and we can basically see everything that the customer wants to personalize on the actual design here. Here inside of the item detail, you can see that they wanted the top line of the design to say Red Hill Farm and then down below with the bottom line, they wanted it to say EST 1998. That is exactly what this global product options app allows you to receive from the customer. So that way you can go ahead and edit your design for your customer. Inside of T-Launch, this is what the order actually looks like. And you can see at the top right, it says pending approval right here. Basically the order is on hold until I upload a new design file into T-Launch. This is a manual process, but it only takes a few moments to actually process your orders. Let's say that we were selling something like this on the store. I do have lots of designs that are address signs like this. What I would first want to do is change the actual number on here to match the house number that the customer wants. To do that, we would simply just select our text. Let's say that the customer lived at 1081 as their house number. We would just change that text. We would want to reposition our numbers up top here. You can now see that the bear is actually touching the one. What I could do is just start to slide the bear over slightly so that way that's not happening. We would then want to go down below and change this to the actual name of the street that the customer has. Let's say that the name of the street was love. We would change it like so and also reposition the text so that way it fits. You can see here now that I've changed the text, this letter L is kind of sticking off of the side here. What I do is I just resize the text so that way it fits like it should and looks like it is perfectly done just like that. Obviously, if the text had more than four letters, you would want to play with the sizing to get it correct. You would then want to save this as a new PNG file onto your computer. What I typically do is I create a folder on my computer just for orders where I enter the order number as the file name. From here, we would come back into T-Launch and simply just click on the change file button. What this would allow us to do is upload a new design file just for this order. After that file actually uploads in, you could click the release order button right here and T-Launch would process the order with the new design file with the buyer's personalization in it. And that is exactly how you can create personalized print on demand metal signs and fulfill your orders. Like I said a few times, this is an extremely profitable print on 
on-demand item. It's one that I've sold for the last couple of years and most recently here on this new second store that I have been talking and showing you about today. If you have any questions, make sure to let me know down in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.